second big problem we have is our young people. Oja wa mnyalo kwa na protest peke yake. Mempiga mkamnyanganya firimbi. Like you guys, amujifikiri. There is a lot of chaos going on in East Africa and this is because Kenya is on fire right now. At least two to three people confirmed dead and many others brutally injured following the Kenyan financial bill of 2024 in the Kenyan parliament. And to be honest, this did not rub certain Kenyans the right way. Particularly the Generation Z, Gen Z you may call it, who ended up being joined by millennials and other categories at large. This force led by Gen Z has put Kenya to a total shutdown, officially declaring seven days of rage, which began on Friday the 21st. And all of these young people have a lot to unpack. Following their public statement in an infographic posted on X, please don't expect this to go well in Kenya. Apparently tear gas is the talk of the hour left, right and center in certain cities of Kenya and it's expected that Saturday the 22nd all clubs, bars and hangout places where Gen Z commonly or frequently hang out are going to be put on hold to stop all the music and listen to a national crescendo of Ruto must go, we reject the financial bill. Meanwhile an uninvited guest who is the grandfather of Uganda happened to throw some shade into the matter. According to His Excellency Yoweri Kaguta Museven, the president of Uganda, the protest Protests in Kenya are being led by a bunch of TikTokers who don't even pay taxes. And good Lord Jesus, did he emphasize that Kenyans are picketing in the streets instead of working. But hey, let's come to agree on this one point. Just because you are an elected member of parliament does not give you the guts to think through and sign everything that comes across on behalf of your people. Let's be realistic here. It never works that way, folks. And how I wish that this Kenyan Gen Z spirit comes to Ugandans so that we never have to see a day of suffering and being sold off as slaves. This is Mr. Trine. Thank you for watching. Peace out. We have a youth bulge that if not properly handled can be a time bomb that can blow this country to pieces.